I'm Sir Tap Tap, and this is a guide for the new Wizard of Oz event in uh, Abyssrium. If my guides help you out, please check out my Patreon, patreon.com slash SirTapTap, link in the description. Or click that join button below the video. That uh, All contributions there go right to me and uh, help me out a lot with equipment. I recently got a new uh, upgraded processor that I can help me out making this kind of stuff a lot. So, this is an event, just like all events really work pretty much exactly the same in Abyssrium now. Um, it's still put in so many different places though. So the very first thing you want to do when any event comes out, close your menu, just close all the menus, click this little palette icon. Then you scroll all the way down to the bottom. I don't know why it's not sorted to the top, but it's all the way at the bottom. You gotta buy the die for the event first. That unlocks the Hermit Crab, which is oh so essential to absolutely everything. Buy the Emerald City die. Buy the costume, it's cheap. Buy the theme, it's cheap. You can use them later. Um, but they usually help with the unlocks. Um, a couple of them do right now. The die always unlocks the Hermit Crab, which you buy the way I showed you right there. It costs just 200 candy. Um, the currency carries over between events. It's all the same stuff. That's why I have currency already. If you want to know how to get event currency, uh, it's really just about watching ads. But I have a video. Uh, just search for tap tap macro. Um, I show you how to set that up in Nox Player, which is what I'm currently using. So basically, the only way to get currency in good amounts is to upgrade your Hermit Crab and watch ads to rewatch, you know, recharge the Hermit Crab or the Rainbow. Um, the ad bug is back for a lot of people. I have a guide for the ad bug. If those things don't help you, um, you probably just have to wait and see if an update fixes it. Uh, there's not much you can do about it, unfortunately. So let's get to Hidden Fish Unlocks. Um, they're not really hidden anymore. That's probably my biggest complaint with the game lately, is that I had a lot of fun chasing down all of the, uh, the unlocks and stuff. But, um, yeah. Oh well. I really hope the new game, Abyssrium World, is back to, you know, hidden fish and stuff. Hidden fish just gave us something to do. Every time there was a new event, Everyone rushed to talk to everyone else like, oh, did you find out how to do this? Oh, I watched, you know, five ads or I clicked this fish and I unlocked this and everybody had reason to talk about the game. And now the hidden fish are gone. It's just gone. It sucks. Anyway, Dorothy Tang, eh, kind of boring. Um, no unlock condition, just your basic cheap fish. This is definitely a fish with hats event. I've been critical of fish with hats events and there it is. It's a fish in a hat. It's got a little dress on it, at least, I guess. If that does it for you. Uh, North Witch Gobi, create one Alice Butterfly. Pretty much impossible to miss. Literally, a fish in a hat. West Witch Moor Idol, just, it's just a fish in a hat. It's, <laughs> come on. I, I know people like Wizard of Oz a lot and stuff, and some of the fish designs aren't that bad, but literally, a fish in a hat. Get rainbows after watching an ad five times. Now that does not mean the hermit crab. That means this one. You gotta watch this one five times. And the, the the thing about the unlocks and part of the reason I hate the no hidden fish thing is the unlocks are almost always the same too. It's not just that they're unlocked. They're they're they're, they're not hidden. It's just that they all it just sucks. They're they're all the same and they're all boring. Um, place witch hat extension one time. This guy. Okay, this is cute. Field Mice Queen Sea Slug, that's pretty cute. I'm a sucker for Sea Slugs though, so I'm biased. Um, the extension item or expand item, the game can't decide on its vocabulary. That's from this event thing. And then you go into this thing to complete these, to get these items. And so anything that says place or take a picture of a thing that's not a fish, it's always in this. And you always have to complete this thing um, in order to get all of the fish. So pay attention to this too. I'll walk through these steps later, but keep in mind, you will need to do this as you unlock the fish. It's not an either or kind of thing. I always get so many comments about those. Literally a fish in a hat, but it's got little shoes. Munchkin Dumbo Octopus. Create three Cheshire Silicanths. Did I miss? Oh, there he is. Emerald City Blobfish. He's got the Z. There he is. He's just kind of a fish. It, with a hat and he's got okay. I like the pants actually The pants are terrible, but like in a brilliant way uh, Emerald City blobfish create three bunny sea slugs Which 
I think those are, those are past event fish, by the way. If you read something that's like, wait a minute, that's not a Wizard of Oz fish. It's because it's in this tab over here with the orange clown fish. You see these boys here, the, the Alice in Wonderland things. Um, which is kind of weird. You have to buy the Alice in Wonderland fish to uh, do this. And it's also the spring event fish. It's very confusing. There's no relation any of this stuff. This is three different events in here, by the way. The half roast jellyfish is terrifying, by the way. It's the Alice in Wonderland event. It's the... Sp Where was the bunny? Wasn't the bunny sea slug from the spring event? I don't know why the bunny sea slug is in there, actually. Uh, and the Greek event with the Medusa and the Hades octopus and stuff. So, if you're confused what a fish is, it's almost certainly a past event fish. So you go to that tab. Gnome King Octopus. He looks like Heat Miser got a curse put on him. Tap Munchkin Dumbo Octopus Bubble Tony Time. So that's just the little bubble that appears over their head with the, the, the little event or currency icon. Scarecrow Frog. Eh. Eh. Scarecrow Frog, place Emerald City Glass Extension two times. So when it says you have to place it two times, that means you unlock it from this thing. And then you go into the expand thing, and then you buy a second one. And you have to buy the second one with pearls. Kind of sucks. But, and yeah, that's, again, that's an unlock all of these have. The, these, there's like a list of 10 unlocks that every single event has now. And it's so boring. Just just do something different at least, goddammit. Camellia jellyfish, use 100 sea urchins. Uh, I can guarantee there's going to be fusion fish in this event that require urchins. So, let's look. Yep, there it is, half roach jellyfish. So just make a single butler frog, solitaire sea dragon, or half roach jellyfish, and there you go. You're almost certainly going to need to do it anyway. I haven't even made the written guide yet at this point. I, I kind of tune out when because they're not. There's no hidden fish, so that for me the fun in making guides is totally gone. So this is low on my priority list, frankly. Uh, Oz penguin own three camellia jellyfish, which again those are in the past event thing. I, oh wait. No, that's this thing. Yeah, the Nyx jellyfish is the one that's in the past thing. So yeah, that's just own three of the previous fish. Boring unlock, as always. Cowardly Lion Otter. I don't know whether that's terrible or genius. It's such a weird combination. I hate it, but like, it's kind of interesting. Create three half rose jellyfish. See, you're gonna need to create three of these, and these cost sea urchin. So do that for this one. Create the, um, the three half rose jellyfish and you'll get it. West Soldier Ray. It's a it's a ray with like a carpet on him and a hat. Of course, you gotta have the hat. And they they have pants. The pants kind of amuse me. They're so bad, it's kind of interesting. Share one photo of Dorothy's house extension one time. Again, that's just the thing that's in the expand quest. We'll see that in a second. Tin Man Narwhal uh, own twelve types of snow event fish. So this is basically the whale. Um, this is own all of the current event fish, own 80 new event fish. And one thing is when you look at that fish in the unlock, in the event thing, you will see there's only one X. So if you own 80, but you don't have 12, it will not show a check mark. If you own 12 types of new event fish, but you don't own 80, it'll still show the X. So people always get confused by that. Um, the Glinda whale, which let's just look at the manage fish screen so we can see it all pretty. Oh, this, this screen is such a mess, by the way. It needs sub-tabs. Ah, uh, that's something else. Glinda Whale, complete all quests. <laughs> that is a happy boy, though. You cannot deny that that boy is very happy. I like the particle effects. It's nothing too fancy, but it's definitely above average compared to the usual whales. But it's also kind of just a whale in a hat at the same time. So I'm torn on that one. Uh, baby Ozma Whale. This is a fusion fish thing. This is like a fusion from the... Um, you fuse a bunch of crap. And the, the dog, obviously, is the in-app purchase. So, let's look at the... Oh, wait. Let's look at the, the big fish mission. So to get the big fish, like the Glinda Whale, you always have to complete a separate series of quests. And that is under the event calendar thing here, and it's the first icon. So, for the first quest, you need to own three Dorothy Tangs. Extremely easy, just buy three Tangs. That's 
that's all you gotta do. You'll need to do that anyway. Um, for the second one, Rainbow Country, place one Emerald Tile extension, which again, that's from that expand quest thing, which you should be doing alongside it. Um, so that first one here. And equip the Oz event costume, which again, I told you, you should always just buy those. It'll save you some grief and they're very cheap. It doesn't, it's not a problem to buy them. Um, magic shell, own, use 150 clams, which again, you're going to use that many clams anyway while making past event fusion fish. So if you want to know what to spend clams on, literally one white rabbit seahorse would do you fine. Um. Nice Companion is the next quest. Own three Scarecrow Frogs, own three Cowardly Lion Otters, own three Tin... Tin... Tin Wood Lumber Narwhal. I think that means Tin Man. I'm reading it from the Reddit. I think that's a typo. Um, Parker. Yes. Yes. Hi, Parker. Say hi. Say hi. Say hi. You're quiet. Um, commemorative photo, take one photo of Baby Owl Whale, which is a past event thing, I believe. Baby Owl Whale. Meow. Meow. Huh. I think it... Huh. Baby Owl Whale. I don't, I don't know what that means. I'm just reading that directly from Reddit because I haven't gotten through <laughs> the event quest. Oh, because you get a tail in my mouth. Owning a cat is great, by the way. Um, so, the expand quest, none of this stuff is hidden. So I, I swear they just did this, like, to spite me. They're like, no, this tap tap guy is getting, like, people enjoy his guides. We're going to ruin it by removing the hidden fish. And we're gonna make all the unlocks really boring and samey. There's never any reason to like be interested in the game anymore. <laughs> it's I, I feel personally slighted. But anyway, to get the emerald tile, you just need to buy five North Witch Gobi. Easy enough. Um, five West Witch Moorish Idol. Again, all of the things I just watch ads or buy fish. It's all there is, ever is. For the witch's hat, own five West Witch Morris Idol. Um, for the rewards from Oz, take one photo of Emerald City Blobfish. Um, for the Emerald City in Glass, use a Hermit Crab skill 15 times. Again, just watch, use the Hermit Crab thing, watch ads. Um, Munchkin House, own three Oz Penguin. It kind of hurts my brain that the, the unlock condition is listed as if it was a title, and the title is listed as if it was an unlock condition. It hurts. It hurts, Ness. Um, Dorothy's House, spend 200 crab. Now, the thing is, with these unlocks, you have to do them in order. So if you spend 200 crab right now, and you don't have, you haven't made this, and you haven't unlocked these earlier ones, they don't count. So that's why you got to do these as soon as you can. Um, and the same is true for these. So you gotta, you gotta keep an eye on all three parts. And it's funny they've, they've made the events overcomplicated, while at the same time pretending they simplified things by removing hidden fish. It's actually way more complicated to do events now than it ever was before the hidden fish were removed. Um, it's also this thing, which is just step. It's just gosh upon crap and you like perform quests, which upgrading the Coralite is like insanely difficult for me now, by the way, at this point at EX Vitality. It takes forever and I just never even try. So, so I'm not even going to look at that. But this thing is not required. In fact, th this whole event tab is just a cluster of intercourse. This is part of the event. This is not part of the event. This is not part of the event. This is part of the event. That's right. Um, this is n kind of part of the event. This is not worth it, though. This the, the 100 pearls you get from this is garbage, basically. Um... The, the unlock, well, the unlocks aren't as hard as they usually are this time, but yeah. Oh, and also the, I think the baby owl whale is the Ozma whale is, yeah. The baby Ozma whale, yeah, that's a typo. I'll, I'll yell at the person who made the Reddit thread. Um, so yeah, it's the take a picture of this boy here. That's how you get the final thing. Parker, don't stand on that. Um, so to get this thing, 
Um, you weirdly have to go into the free tab, or it is in the old fish thing. I forget if it's at the top or the bottom. It's at the top. So you need two of the... Uh, where the hell do you even get that? Oh, God, events are such a mess now. <laughs> I, I, oh God. Everything is everywhere. There's like six different places you have to look at every event. It's such a mess, and they're pretending that they're helping you by removing the hidden fish. Nobody asked for that. Nobody asked for that. Nobody asked for events to be spread across 16 different tabs. Nobody asked for hidden fish to be gone. <sighs> God. Anyway, you need to make this Heart King Kraken, which you need to make old event fish through this thing. If you already had it from last year, it's just already unlocked. Otherwise, you have to make new fish um, from this menu here. Even if you already got them, if you unlocked them last year, or you got them from the, the Luck Shell, you still have to recreate them. Which is why the Luck Shell is completely pointless now. Because every event repeats. You have to make past event fish every single repeated event anyway. There's no point to the Luck Shell. It's total garbage. It's so stupid. But, that's Abyssrium in a nutshell. It's so stupid and it's... Honestly, intentionally bad is kind of the way I feel it is. I hope Abyssrium World is just a complete from, from scratch reset. Everything is totally different, and I hope Hidden Fish are back. That's the one thing that shouldn't be different. Um, but yeah, uh, Flareo Games is really, really grinding my gears. It's Everything is a mess, and it's so overcomplicated and dumb. And my videos, even though there's like nothing hidden, uh, my videos still end up like 15 to 16 minutes just because there's so many things that I have to show you every event. <sighs> anyway, <laughs> thanks for watching everybody. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. Check out my Patreon or the YouTube member thing if you can. Click that little join button. You get fancy emojis for whenever I live stream. And check out our Discord too. So tapdive.com slash Discord. You can chat with other Abyssrian players or just other fans of the channel. Uh, play games with us. Um, lots of stuff goes on the Discord. So, hope to see you there.